What's up, guys? Welcome back to Roller Coaster Lover. Today, I'm going to be telling you all the stats of the roller coasters at Six Flags Great America. This does include kitty roller coasters, thrill coasters, family coasters, and any type of roller coaster. Now, currently, Six Flags Great America has 15 operating roller coasters, and it's my home park, so I'm lucky I have 15 roller coasters an hour away from me that I can ride and I have a roller coaster that is 10 minute five minutes away from my house that I can ride so I have a lot of roller coasters around me so yeah so let's get right into it we are going to be going in alphabetical order of the rides so starting with a we have American Eagle this ride opened in 1981, it is made by Intamin. It's an Intamin wood coaster. It's dueling. It doesn't duel anymore because this structure can't handle it because how old it's getting. But yeah, this this ride has a length of 4,652 feet. It is a hundred. 27 feet tall. The drop is 100. Wait, the height is 127 feet tall. The drop is 147 feet tall. The top speed is 60 miles per hour. It has no inversions. And that's it. Oh, and it's. Sorry. Excuse me. And the ride is 2 minutes and 23 seconds long. It was also, it, it was built by a mix of Intamin and Intim, Philadelphia Toboggan, so PTC and that too. Okay. Next up is Batman the Ride. This is a BM inverted roller coaster. It has a length of 2,700 feet, a height of 100 feet. So, American Eagle is taller than Batman. <laughs> it's a top speed of 50 miles per hour. It's five inversions. The ride is two minutes long. He, it has a loop, a zero G wall, roll, another loop, a wing over, and another wing over. So, yeah. Next up is Dark Knight. This ride opened in 2008. I forgot. I'll go back at the end of the video and tell you when Batman opened. I didn't. I forgot to look. This is a uh, Mac Ride Wild Mouse. It's it's an indoor roller coaster, and it's themed to the Dark Knight, so it has theming in it. Not the not the best theming, but it has theming. It is 1,000. 213 feet long. It has no inversions. It is 2 minutes long. And that's that. Next up is Demon. This is an aerodynamics aero looper. That we like to call it. It opened in 1976. It, it It is 2,130 feet long and a height of 103.7 feet tall. The drop is 90 feet. The speed is 50 miles per Top speed is 50 miles per hour. It's four inversions. It is a minute and 45 second long ride. It has a 70 foot tall loop of 50... Five foot tall loop and two, and it has a one hundred. I mean, a thirty five foot tall double corkscrew. That's that. Next up is Goliath. This is built by Rocky Mountain Construction. It's a typical RMC. We love RMCs, and it's 
This one's a Topper Track RMC, so if you haven't been on a Topper Track, the Topper Track RMCs are used to be Lightning Rod, but that's getting Steel Track now. Um, Outlaw Run, Silver Dollar City, and then Goliath. And that's all I know about. I'm not going to be telling you the link anymore, but for this one, I will tell you the length. It is 3,100 feet long. It has a top height of 100 65 feet tall, uh, 180 foot tall drop. It goes 72 miles per hour, two inversions. It, it has a tunnel, an overbank curve, a dive loop, a zero G stall, and then another tunnel. That's that. Oh, and Goliath opened in 2014. Next up, no, that's not next up. Next up is Joker. This is the SNS40 free spin. You can find these all over the 6X chain. This one opened in 2017. It is 120 feet tall. The drop is 54 feet. It has a speed of 38 miles per hour and no inversions. Next up is Little Dipper. This is a Philadelphia Toboggan Coasters PTC Junior Coaster. It opened in 2010 at Great America, but it did operate at a different park. It operated at Kittyland for its first life, which Kittyland is now a defunct uh, theme park in Chicago in uh, Melrose Park, I believe. This one is 28 feet tall, no inversions, and 50 seconds long. Next up is Max Force. This is the park's newest roller coaster. It is an SNS launch roller coaster, hydraulic launch. It is 175 feet tall. It has a top speed of 78 miles per hour, four inversions, and the ride is 23 seconds long. That's how fast you're moving. And I'm not going to say that. Oh, Max Force opened in 2019. Next up is Raging, Raging Bull. Raging Bull is a B&M Hyper Roller Coaster that opened in 1999. It is 200 feet tall. The drop is 280 feet tall. It is at top speed of 73 miles per hour. No inversions. And there's that. Next up is another kitty roller coaster that they have at this park, Sprocket Rockets. This is a Vacoma Junior roller coaster. It is 27 feet tall. It goes 21 miles per hour. No inversions. And it's 44 seconds long. It's longer than max force. Next up is Superman. Ultimate Flight. It opened in 2003. This is your typical B&M flying roller coaster, like all Supermans, really. Um, it is 106 feet tall. Drop is 100 feet. It goes 51 miles per hour. It's two inversions and it's three minutes long. Next up is Vertical Velocity. This is an instrument impulse roller coaster. It opened in 2001. This one's rumored to get relocated to um, Six Sense America. It is 185 feet tall. It goes 70 miles per hour. It has no inversions. Next up is Viper. This is a this is a in-house made coaster by Six Flags. They made it. It it opened in 1995. It is it opened in 1995. It is 100 feet tall. The drop is 80 feet. It goes 52 miles per hour. No inversions and it's a minute and 45 seconds long. And then next up is Viper. I mean, sorry, <laughs> we already did Viper. Next up is Wizard. This has this is a Schwarzkopf 
jumbo jet model. It has a unique spiral lift hill. It opened in 1976. It is 70 feet tall. The drop is 64 feet. It's 42 miles per hour. Zero inversions and it's two minutes long. And I legit just closed out the list. But anyway, we are on our final coaster, which is X Flight. This is the park's BM Wing Coaster. It is it opened in 2012. It is 55 miles per hour. They do not have the height here. I think it's a hundred feet. It has five inversions, and it is one minute and 15 seconds long. Well, that's all the stats for you guys at 6X Great America. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. I know it was a long one, but now you know all the stats of the operating roller coasters at 6X Great America. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.